The first, a Liberty University instructor has quit after a tweet from University President Jerry Falwell Jr. Falwell suggested people wear masks with this photo uh, from Governor Ralph Northam, his yearbook of two people in blackface and a Klan hood. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live at Liberty University tonight. Shane, the instructor is not the only one upset. John Lindsay, no, he is not. Tonight, there are many Christians calling for Thomas Road Baptist Church to denounce the tweet from Jerry Falwell and to separate itself from Liberty University. Of course, this is the church that was founded by Falwell's father, Jerry Sr., and is currently pastored by Falwell's brother, Jonathan Falwell. Now, the people today that we spoke to say at a time like this in America, these comments are completely out of line. Well, this was a moral issue for me. Um, to stand against this kind of action. Christopher House had reservations when he began teaching a multicultural communications class at Liberty last year. Now, just a few months later, those fears came true, resigning by email in response to University President Jerry Falwell Jr.'s behavior on the world stage. For me and for people who look like me, who bear the implications of the narratives and the myths and the ideologies about who and what black people are, and by that I mean subhuman, that those images were created to perpetuate. Falwell tweeted if he had to wear a mask, it would be this one, showing off a custom design with the famous blackface and Klan hood photo from Governor Ralph Northam's college yearbook on it. House finds it reprehensible, especially as racial tension is on the rise. These images, those ideas, and the violence to, uh, that's we see being poured out on black and brown bodies, those things are connected. Jerry also picked a horrific time right now in our country to race bait anything. Kaylin Whitley is a Liberty alum tonight calling on Thomas Road Baptist Church led by Jerry's brother Jonathan to denounce the tweets. I really think that a predominantly white church needs to show um, the black and brown community, um, black and brown brothers and sisters in Christ that what Jerry has done is not okay. She also thinks the church should be distancing itself from the university, saying they must draw a line. House says Falwell must repent for his words that he feels don't represent Jesus Christ. And if that is the kind of training champions for Christ that underlies uh, the, 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 the knowledge and the leadership and how that operate, that institution moves, then I won't have anything to do with it and I, and I will speak out against it. Now, I reached out to Liberty University for comment on this, and tonight what you're seeing on the screen is what they sent back to me. It's a screenshot of the tweet that Falwell Jr. followed up with to the original tweet of the picture of the mask, and basically he explained it for people that weren't from Virginia, that that picture was from Governor Northam's yearbook page, and he said it just proves that Democrats are the real racists in this. We also reached out to Thomas Road Baptist Church for comment, and I did not hear back this evening. Live in Lynchburg, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.